Good morning, everyone. How are we all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I just knocked about nine of my skincare products into the sink trying to set up my phone. So I really woke up this morning and chose clumsiness. Um, but it's Saturday. It's like almost 11 o'clock. I slept until 1030. And if you guys have been around for a while, you know that I basically get up at 6 a.m. or like 7 a.m. even on weekends and I just start doing stuff. Um, but it felt so nice. We got back from the movie last night and I literally slept in the same clothes that I wore to the movie theater, which started to skeeve me out as I was thinking about it this morning. <laughs> like, that was gross a little bit. Like, we don't wear our street clothes to bed. That's just not, not what I'm intending to do. But, you know, I was just so tired and didn't feel like changing before going to bed. That's how you know. So um, we are going to be going into flat iron today. I ordered something online last night and now I'm like kind of fixating on it. I do this sometimes with things that like, especially if they cost a little bit more than what I would normally spend, I start to like, you know, get a little crazy about thinking about all the different ways I can wear it just because I want to be able to justify it for myself. It's just like, an internal thing that I do. So I am gonna call the store to see if they have this one item so that we can go. And I wanna try it on because I picked it up in an extra small because they start at a double extra small and obviously that would be way too small. And the model in the photos was wearing an extra small. So I feel like it would fit, but I just wanna make sure and probably end up, well, I mean, I don't think I paid for shipping, I only paid for tax. But like, I should have just gone to the store anyway if I did pay for shipping, because it would obviously be cheaper, but I didn't do that. So um, yeah, we'll see how it fits. And then the other part of me wanted to buy it in the store today and then just return the one that I bought online because I want to shoot in it. But if I did pay shipping, I'm not doing that because then I would just be spending an extra like $5 on shipping when I actually just have to send it back. And I don't know if they have free returns, so. I have a bunch of logistics to check into, but regardless, we're gonna walk to Flatiron and get Ralph's and try it on at the bare minimum if they do have it in stock. So that is the plan for this morning. I haven't eaten breakfast yet and I am just gonna fix my hair quickly because I blow dried it last night, but the ends were flipped in and I wanna curl it because my hair has been so greasy over the past couple days that I've only shot with my hair in a bun. So I just want to get a little bit of a different look when we shoot today, I possibly might just wear an outfit to shoot in when we walk over there, but it's really hot out. I have no idea what I'm going to wear. And like, why does my hair already look really long again? I just cut two inches off of it like two weeks ago. Maybe it's been like three weeks now, so I guess it's an inch longer. I have no idea. My hair grows like a weed now and I just can't even keep track. I feel like I'm getting haircuts every other month, which is what I think you're supposed to do. I told you I chose clumsiness when I woke up this morning. Still dropping. <laughs> okay, this is getting a little out of hand. I'm gonna finish fixing my hair. And then if I end up curling it before I leave with my T3 iron that I unboxed with you guys, I will pick up the camera again so you guys can get a full on first review. But I'm gonna go eat quickly because we will be leaving here in like a half hour. All right, as per usual, I didn't have time to show you guys the whole process of getting ready and stuff, but this is my outfit. We're about to leave in one minute. So I have a gray bodysuit on. Just mind you guys, this was not planned at all. I wanted to do like a white midi dress and like a light blue shirt over the top of it. Um, not that that's relevant because I'm not wearing it because I can't find the dress. <laughs> um, and then I have on these little um, like cropped linen trousers from Abercrombie and Fitch. I don't know if they still sell these, but I have to look into that and I'll link them for you guys if they do. And then my New Balance sneakers. Yeah, this is real life. I am wearing a sneaker other than my dunks for the past two days. So that's really exciting. And then I'm doing my little Polen bag here and these black sunnies just to, you know, bring in a little bit more edginess because these are all like really light colors and I like the contrast. So we pulled an audible. The aloe store does not have the onesie that I ordered, which I'm kind of happy about because I was getting a little bit obsessive over it. So that's God telling me to calm down and we're gonna go to meat packing and do a little outfit picture and then stop at Cobrick, which I haven't been to in a while. 
and I kind of just went to Ralph's and Steph was also just there with me too. So we're gonna change it up a little bit and it's a beautiful day out. It's like really hot. So that's also the reason why I'm wearing linen slash like no clothes because that's just the way you have to do it in New York sometimes. when you both are in okay this is gonna be a little bit of like a quick update we're in meatpacking we just took our videos and photos and we both have coffee all over our white no, I'm so clothing where's yours it's yeah white clothing and it's Cute. from the cups so we have to put in a little i mean i'm not gonna complain but <laughs> It's literally leaking everywhere. Like mine leaked over here leaked. when I like bent down to go and press the record button. So um, make sure that if you go to Cobrick that you don't leak your coffee all over yourselves. I mean, maybe it was just us, but we're having some sort of a morning. I'm going to do a little story time when we get back to the apartment because the amount of things like you guys saw me like drop all my makeup this morning or my skincare products out of my mirror. That was like the first thing. And then it just like kept going downhill from there. So talk to you guys about that when we get back but these are our outfits <laughs> all right we are back from shooting i need to bring my coaster over here i think i mentioned these a couple vlogs ago but i haven't stopped using these i have one on my desk that has my coffee on it right now and then this one is for my water and i found some similar ones on amazon so i'll link them in this video too because i didn't mention that in my last one um but we're home now the coffee came out of my clothes, thank you to my stain devils that I've spoken to you guys about because you know that I am always um, spilling food on myself and thank God it all came out. So everything is fine. We are just having a little bit of a crazy morning. Um, I'm just quickly gonna light this candle. It's a nest candle and the scent bamboo. I don't know what's in it. It's a variety of white floral, sparkling citrus and fresh green accords. So my mom had this diffuser in out like the entryway of our home and I loved it so much and she didn't like it. <laughs> and so she had a couple other like things in that scent, I guess from when she bought the diffuser. So she just put this little, we have like little baskets. So when me and my sisters come home, like she'll put stuff for us in our baskets. And she put this little candle in my basket. I thought it was so cute. So it's the perfect size for my desk because I have this little like setup here on the side and I just like having a smaller candle there. And also I am gonna be working there for the next couple hours probably. Um, we did one outfit picture. Steph isn't going to her like dance New Brooklyn event until like 5 p.m. So we have some time and possibly might shoot another outfit, but I don't know. I feel like I need to just go through all the pictures that I have already and like delete some stuff because my like picture account is going up so high and it's kind of like freaking me out. <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, just giving you guys a story time for this morning. So I woke up, you guys saw that I like knocked all of my products out of my cabinet. And then I go into the kitchen to make myself some puffins for breakfast. Cause I'm like, okay, we'll have like a semi healthy breakfast. And I go to pour the almond milk on them. And all of a sudden like chunks start coming out of the almond milk. And I'm sorry if this is making anybody queasy cause it definitely made me nauseous. And I was like, I, first of all, this almond milk wasn't even like pretty old. It was probably expired, obviously, but I was like, why is this happening? So I threw the puffins out, threw the almond milk out, took the garbage down, whatever. We're like, okay, look, we're moving on here. And then Steph let me borrow some of her eggs. So I made some eggs instead on some toast. Everything was fine. And then we go to Cobrick and we get our coffees. They like made Steph's chai with cinnamon on it. And she's like, I don't care because I love cinnamon. I just didn't know that they put it on there. And we're like shooting and all this stuff. And then we look down and we have like coffee dripped on ourselves. And I'm like, how did this happen? And how did we not notice? And when I went to snap the lid on, you guys, I don't think you saw this part because I'm always afraid to film myself snapping the lid on my coffee because I always do it wrong. And I went to snap it on and I was like, that was a really easy snap, like almost too easy, especially like if I got it right, then there's something wrong here. And I think that just like the lid was not like as tight as it should be for this kind of cup. And you can kind of see that it's like there's coffee like all around here because i guess it was dripping um so yeah we came back here 
everything is being stain treated so everything's fine but we're just like why is so, i mean me in particular like stuff is just happening and i'm like it needs to stop happening there was also like really moldy lettuce in our fridge that we had to throw out too and we we're just like what's going on here so <laughs> just like dumb little things obviously like I, it's not a damper on my day but it's just like funny how like things happen like one after another like that sometimes um but anyway actually now that my room is like really clean i feel like i'm always cleaning like continuously just because of like shooting and getting stuff together and opening things and like living in this room is so tiny so i'm always like tidying up to make sure that it looks nice but I kind of want to just like walk you guys through my room for a second. I'm not going to do like a full on room tour. I just want to show you guys like the layout and everything because um, when Sandra was here yesterday, she was like, it's so weird seeing your room and like your living room and all this stuff on YouTube and Instagram and all that. And then it's like so different when you actually see it in person. So I want to just like walk you guys through here because like I love my room. I was just thinking to myself like a little loser that I created a space that I'm just like so happy and obsessed with and like even just like standing here like with this in the background i'm like how does this exist i don't really know um obviously if you guys want links to anything you can comment in the description like i'll probably tell you where like some of the big things are but i'm not going to go through and like tell you guys like little tiny things i just want to show you guys like the overall layout just so that when you're watching the vlogs it like makes sense i guess because i feel like sometimes like when i watch other people's videos i don't understand like the full layout of everything and not that it matters but i'm so nosy that i'm like I need to know like what this looks like as a whole. So let me take you guys off the tripod. I'll show you quickly. Okay, you guys, so this is the front door. Just showing you guys, I'm gonna like stand right here. So I'm gonna turn around quickly, but this is where the door is. The bed is right next to it. So for starting here, I'm like at the entryway. That's tape that's supposed to be under my bed. Um, there's a lot of stuff under my bed, by the way. That's like how I mainly live in here <laughs> is that I have so much stuff underneath there and underneath my dresser you can see some of my shoes but you walk in on your left is the nightstand with some books and stuff underneath and then my bed is directly to the right so this is right when you walk in above it you have these two prints from Decenio which I need to switch this out I don't know if it was because of like humidity and stuff but you can see that it's so wrinkled and I have no idea how that happened. Um, I didn't choose to put anything on this wall. I should for filming purposes because this is always in the background, but I felt like because I had these two here that I didn't also need to put something there, but I might need to. Um, I deliberately put these like in like a slanted layout, by the way. Um, and then straight ahead is my dresser. To the left of my dresser, you have my mirror that I'm just noticing needs to be cleaned. This is from West Elm. This is from Ikea. This is from Home Goods. I just got one, but I can't fit it next to my bed, obviously. And then as we go toward the window, this is where my desk is. So you can see that like my comforter is like sticking out here because this desk fits like directly in this space. Like it's actually crazy. It's like God made this desk for my room. <laughs> um, but everything fits in here like just perfectly. I don't feel too overcrowded in here. There's a pretty good amount of space here for me to like walk through and come and sit on my chair and then this is normally where I have my tripod because I have the natural light coming in from this one window which is also filthy and I don't know if this is oh it is cleanable okay so I will be cleaning that today because ew um but yeah this is like what the room looks like it's really tiny but I feel like I just did the best I could with it just a little quick room tour so you guys can see like the full layout and stuff and then my bathroom is the room like right next to here um just because I feel like there are some new people here and I do have a full room tour on my channel but some things have changed so i mean like i can't believe things have changed already i feel like i just filmed that but like i didn't have my desk at the time i had like a bench here that made zero sense and all of that so yeah i think i was also wearing this outfit in my room tour so that's funny um did i say this mirror was from west elm i think i did but this is the only like pricey thing that i have in my room everything else is like super affordable and i did that on purpose because i wanted to like spend money on the things that were like really important to me from like a design aspect and i couldn't find another mirror like this i got really close a couple times in home goods to finding something that looked exactly like this and i was gonna have to paint it black and all this stuff and i was like let me just get it it's the one thing i'm spending money on that's like way pricey honestly and something that's like outside of my budget but considering everything else in here is like from ikea and home goods and wayfair i was like let me just get the one thing that i'm obsessed with and we'll just call it a day so um, yeah, this is my room, a little random, but I figured I would just show you guys quickly. And now I'm gonna sit down on my cute little desk and edit some videos 
and probably email some brands and stuff because I have like my inbox is like building up a little bit and that's like the thing that stresses me out because I have like a nine to five job and I don't really have time to do emails and stuff. So that's what I do on the weekends. So super fun. Okay, I have you up on the shower ledge and I figured that because we still have a good amount of daylight coming in here that I would show you guys the T3 curling iron. So this morning was my first time using it and I kind of did these like, first of all, I had like zero time and I curled like just the top like pieces around my hair. Not even like, I definitely missed some parts in the back too. So it was just a little bit inefficient and I just did it quickly. This is a little bit wet. Um, but I want to use the smaller attachment because I'm going to curl my hair for like the rest of today and tomorrow, I mean, it's 6.36 or something right now. So not really much going on for the rest of today, but I do want to test this out and I figured I would just do it with you guys and just show you a couple of curls. I'm not going to like go through my whole head with you, but basically this is the way, first of all, I need to clean off the counter. We have our stain doubles from earlier with our little coffee stains. I'll link these for you guys. I feel like I'm going to link them in every single video because they just save my life. If you guys are people who are constantly dropping food on yourself, then you definitely need these too. Um, what else do we have? Some scrunchies. And I think, so I think I'm gonna use this one instead. I have this like inch and a quarter one. I think it's an inch and a quarter. And then I think this one's an inch. Um, and I'm just going to, there's like a little lock symbol here. So you turn it to the side. This one comes out and then you just put your other attachment in and then you lock it. Super easy. And then it just like doesn't come out like that. You can also notice that this is like a very long barrel. So if you have really long hair, this will work too. And this is just one of those things for me, if I were buying this with my own money, it's obviously a lot of money, but you're getting three curling irons in one, three different like total vibes of your hair. So it's not like this one and the one I just put in will like ultimately have the same result once it falls out. Like the curls will all look different. So yeah, I just think it's really efficient. It's very like good on space. We obviously know that I don't have a lot of space in here. Um, we actually do have a lot of like bathroom storage, which is nice, but most people in New York City don't. Um, so we just got a little lucky with that. And this is going to heat up for a second. And then I'm just going to start, I think I'm just going to do my normal, like basically I just curl everything away from my face. But when I was doing it a couple weeks ago with this other little iron I was doing like alternating but I don't think I like the way it came out it did hold a little bit better than just like doing it all the same way but I feel like because this curling iron is really good that it's just gonna like I don't know I feel like I don't have to do that with this one but we'll find out in a second and I also don't know why my hair is still so dark I feel like with age it's just getting darker and darker okay so this heated up really quickly I'm just gonna do a couple of like the front pieces with you guys so you can see the result too but i also have never used this before so just keep that in mind um also i like to leave a little piece of like a little inch out at the bottom okay that was really quick <laughs> normally i have to keep my hair in it for a little bit longer by the way be careful with this because the little ledge on it is not that tall and Steph set hers down on the toilet and burnt the toilet seat. <laughs> so just be weary of that. Um, and I'm just going to go around my head in the same direction on this side. And then when I go to the other side, I'll curl it away from my face on that side. But these are going to be like tight little ringlet curls that will probably fall a little bit. And when I use my sister's T3 with the flipper on it, these are just wands, but she has the one with like the little clip that holds your hair. And I just noticed that the curl stayed from one day to the next. And that was like the biggest difference that I saw. Normally I'll curl my hair and then the next morning I have to re-curl some pieces or like all of the pieces. So yes, it kind of looks like it's a normal curling iron right now, but I think like the lasting effect is something that is just different with this one. So let me just curl the rest of it and I will show you guys the final result. Okay, so I look like I live on a prairie right now, but I'm just going to spray it while the curls are still in like these little ringlets and then I'll comb it out with my fingers in a second, but overall it curls them really, really quickly. I'm standing in the bathtub right now, just in case you guys wanted to know. And it just like, I could feel that 
it makes more of a curl, whereas my other cheap little Amazon one makes my hair like wavy and it's like, I already have naturally wavy hair so I could just let it dry naturally and not put heat on my hair. But this looks like I curled my hair, which is what I actually want in a curling iron. So I'll show you guys the back, even though like my part is doing something strange right now. It's like going all the way to the back of my head for some reason. But this is what it looks like in the back. Nice and curly, which I love. And now my hair will probably look like this tomorrow when I wake up too, because like I said, I've used my sister's before and it's just really good at like keeping the curl. So I'll update you guys in my next video of like how it falls because I'm gonna be vlogging tomorrow too. Um, let me know if you guys are getting sick of me. <laughs> Actually don't, because you just don't have to watch the videos if you are getting sick of me, but I hope you're not, and that you are watching all the videos and that you are liking them all. Um, but it's definitely time for dinner, but I'm gonna have a chip witch first, because I just do backwards things like that. And then I think I'm gonna catch up on some vlogs that I haven't watched, because I think there were like maybe four or five of them. They're not like super long videos, but I feel like I'm missing out. So I'm just gonna chill and watch some vlogs, maybe do some emails and yeah, I feel like this is a very like typical Sunday vlog, even though we're in the middle of a holiday weekend. So yeah, lots of chilling going on here. Okay, giving a little update. The lighting's kind of terrible over here and I need to just pause this vlog quickly. So I'm just sitting here editing my own vlog and normally I just get a little bit, like when I'm in the apartment by myself and I know that I'm by myself and that I'm like editing a lot, it just gets a little bit lonely sometimes. Just like sitting here by myself and then sitting here listening to myself talk on the computer. So I realized that I could just turn the TV on and just put on a vlog in the background as like background noise. And I've heard of like other people doing this too, like other people's channels that I watch, like they'll put on YouTube while they edit their YouTube. And sometimes it's like very inspiring and stuff too and gives you ideas. So I have Caitlin Nolan's channel on right now. I haven't watched any of her videos before. Um, I think she's like kind of big on TikTok with like health and wellness stuff, but I don't like watch anyone's YouTube channel in like the health and wellness space at all. So I figured this would be a good um, like channel to add into the people that I already watch just cause it's a little bit of a different category and my health and wellness could use a lot of improvement. So <laughs> I feel like that's the good thing about YouTube is like you can get very inspired, whether it's like someone like me where I'm like sharing outfits and stuff or if it's someone who like has really good habits that you just wanna pick up, then YouTube is definitely a really good way to do that. But I am just finishing up editing my, what day is today? Sunday. So my Saturday vlog I'm editing right now, which I will probably put up tomorrow morning. I just feel like <laughs> now that I'm like editing so quickly, I'm not gonna have any videos to put up like during the week because I'm putting them all up on their weekdays, but that's not true because this one will go up tomorrow and then I'll have my, video from tomorrow go up on like Wednesday or Thursday or something of next week, depending on what I want to do. And then it'll be the weekend again, or it'll be Friday, which is when I'll do my next like half day weekend vlog kind of thing. So really exciting, tons of videos coming your way. I am just going to be sitting here editing for the next couple hours and it's already 8.15. So I'm gonna end this video now and then I will talk to you guys in the morning in my next one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like I'm like just constantly doing like intros and outros because I'm just putting out like daily vlogs and it sounds like a broken record, especially when I'm like editing and I just edited an intro and then I'm like doing one in real life. So it's like, I don't know, it feels a little bit like Twilight Zone or like I'm in two dimensions, whatever. Um, <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video.